This season, a huge season for Draymond Green. He was so versatile last year, now has the big contract. Perhaps feels a little pressure that he's got to perform this year. Money Green is my new nickname for him, Mike. But he deserved it. He earned it. His play, his versatility, his competitive juice gets it to go. Plus one. The block called against Barbosa. And he'll head to the line with a chance to complete a three-point play. That's big-time play right there. Finishing the shot through the contact and now goes to the free throw line. Able to hit the free throw, and it's a three-point play. Excellent feed. To the basket, converts on the inside. Really liking the emphasis on ball movement tonight that's being established just like it was in their previous game. It's just a great way to play basketball, but also to watch basketball. Three-pointer. Go. I'm a little confused by the shot selection there, Mike. Not sure his coach wanted him taking that shot. Up, up, up. To Barbosa. Backing his way down in the post. Green fires. Hits the shot. Draymond Green's two for three from the field. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Gets it right back. Quick feedback. To Withy. Withy fires away for two. It's good. Four point lead for the Jazz. The ball movement in this game has been phenomenal. Forcing a lot of defensive rotations and ultimately a lot of passes leading to direct scores. Knocks it down. That's a two-pointer. And Sean Livingston with six points. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. There's the whistle. Good job to draw the foul. And he gets to go back to the free throw line. A couple of more free throws. And I thought that was going to be an end one. Good strength just whipped out. First free throw, good. Something in for the Utah Jazz. Good free throw shooting, knocks down a pair. Stepping in for Utah's leading Golden State by a score of 30 to 26. Tied up, has to make that pass. Chris McCullough with a perfect delivery. You can tell both of these teams are completely unselfish with the basketball. Look at the assist total and you can tell that both teams have learned very well that sharing is the true joy in this game. Barbosa set to bring it up. Gets to the rim. Up and in. Pretty pass from Leandro Barbosa. The assist from number 19, Leandro Gobert. Nice ball movement for three off the catch and shoot. The Jazz with the offensive rebound for a second chance opportunity. And back outside. To the rim. Able to knock it down. Two point lead for the Jazz. And here's another look at that solid finish at the rim. And what you're seeing here is both teams being very unselfish with the basketball. The assist total in this game is remarkable for both teams. Livingston coming across. Excellent ball move and great teamwork. Quick move to get inside, and he draws the foul. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. I really like this play right here. You're a great free throw shooter. Draw the contact and get two freebies. And he hits the first free throw. <laughs> Jeff Clay Thompson had that magical game last year when he had an NBA record 37 points in a single quarter. Remember, he beat the record set by George Gervin and Carmelo Anthony. That was a special night. It was incredible to watch. When you look back 
at the nine three-point shots that he got. There was only one lucky bounce. I mean, he was so pure in that quarter. I, I wish I was there to enjoy it with the Oracle crowd. Let's it go for two, and a nice finish at the basket. And here's the replay with another look at that great finish at the rim. Utah's leading Golden State by a score of 34 to 32. McCullough. Off the fake, puts it in. That's a two-pointer. And Flake Thompson with five points. We're seeing a lot of offensive energy on the floor from both of these teams with terrific ball movement. talk about sacrifice vital for team success Andre Iguodala was typical of that last year for Golden State what a pleasure to watch him perform so well on the biggest stage and get his first championship it was and his sacrifice and Steve Kerr has said this over and over again Iguodala's sacrifice was the first step on them becoming this championship caliber team I'm very happy for Iguodala Jeff, remember we were talking about Clay Thompson's 37 points in the single quarter. Imagine if there was a three-point line when George Gervin was playing. How many would he have scored on a given night? Yeah, and I think George Gervin has a legitimate B fight. He said, hey, I scored the 33 points without the benefit of the three-point line. It makes you think, do all these records need to have an asterisk next to them? When you talk about the three-point line, the scoring leaders, all of these things to me have been changed and will continue to change because of the impact of the three-point shot. For Utah, number three, Trey Burke. Entering the game for Golden State, number 12, Andrew Logan. So he hits the first and misses the second. to the corner for three. The one. Oh, the onslaught continues. Jeff, this team is desperate for a timeout, right? This, this, this gets you fired, Mike. You don't take control of a game and use your timeouts properly. Your general manager is sitting up there and is going to evaluate whether you have it in you to lead a team to win a championship. Moving the ball, excellent teamwork to Burke. Dumps it off beautifully. Torres. He says no, but the ref says foul. Call against Bogan. And he'll head to the line for the third time tonight. Boy, he's really been shooting lights out from the free throw line tonight. First free throw, perfect. from the line. Curry draws the double. Thompson, the two-pointer won't go. That's a shooting turnover right there. You shot it too quick, had no chance of going in. That's just like a turnover. Curry against Burke. Thompson fires another shot, gets it to go. And Clay Thompson with 13 points. Right from the start here in the first half, they made a conscious effort to move the basketball around and get quality shots. Curry. Golden State's given the coaching staff a lot of reasons to smile in this matchup, Jeff. What have you liked? Yeah, and it starts and ends with their commitment to rebound the basketball. If you rebound, you're always going to have a chance to win games. Gordon Hayward.
to Hayward. He's averaging 11 points per game this season. Knocks down the shot. Derek favors his three for four from the field. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense one out that time. To Thompson, three-point attempt. Knocks down the jumper. And Clay Thompson with 16 points. They haven't wasted any time in establishing an offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. Burke, quick release for three. Won't go from outside the arc. For the layup, that's good for two. And it's an eight-point lead for the Warriors. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. To Favors. Making the defense work with excellent ball movement. Pops it back out. Looking for low post position. To Favors. Favors fires as the shot clock expires. Sends it into the post. To the rim. Nice adjustment. Stephen Cole with his seventh assist of the night. That's a 12 to 4 run for the Warriors. Burke bringing it up. Moving the ball around beautifully. Makes the adjustment, but misses. Hey, that's a good look right there. Just couldn't get it in. Curry fires from downtown all alone. Burke into the front court. Pass into the post, puts it up. At the buzzer. And the first half comes to an end. The Warriors up by 13. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night.